Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Days Kitchen. Boy, do I got something really, really amazing for you today, all right? I'm gonna make Mexican corn, also known as a latte, or a lot, I might be saying it wrong. But basically, you take roasted corn, and you throw it in your Traeger, and you're gonna smoke it, and you're gonna grill it, and you're gonna add some jalapenos to it, and some other ingredients, that I'm gonna show you how to make Mexican corn a latte. So, what are some of the basic ingredients to roasted Mexican corn? Well, typically, they smoke it and they leave it in the husk and you serve it as a corn on the cob. Well, this time, I'm going to actually make it into an actual baking dish so I can take it to work. So, what do I got? I've got some jalapenos over here, about five or six of them, that I'm going to dice up most of them. But I'm going to take one or two and use it towards the top. I've got some cortita cheese, or cortija. I've got four cans of ro uh, corn, whole kernel corn. These are 29 ounce cans. I've got some real mayonnaise and some sour cream for the sauce that I'm going to show you in a few steps. I've got some spices here. I've got about three tablespoons of cayenne pepper. I've got two tablespoons of California chili, two tablespoons of chili powder, and I also got two tablespoons of cumin. These are the simple ingredients we're going to use to make the roasted corn. Alright, so what's the first step? Well, we're going to go ahead and open the cans of corn here, and we're going to drain all the water out of these four cans of the whole kernel corn. After draining the corn, I added all four cans into this big, huge baking dish. Now, I took all the spices and I sprinkled it throughout the dish. Now, I'm going to use a metal fork to stir and mix all the spices throughout the dish. We're going to go ahead and slice the jalapeno, and we're going to dice it up so that it looks really fine. The finer, the better. Kind of like this little pile here. And just, you know, just start dicing away. Now we're going to add the jalapenos, and we're going to sprinkle it throughout the corn mixture. Now this one, we're not going to mix these up. We're just going to let those wrists sit here so that it bakes into the actual corn mixture. So now into the Traeger, we're going to cold smoke the corn. Now look at all that beautiful smoke. And we're just going to set that right there in there. We're going to close the lid and we're going to come back in about two hours and it's going to be nice and smoked. Then we're going to actually fire up the Traeger and we're going to roast it. So what about the sauce? Well, as the corn is roasting, I decided to add into my Vitamix over here the jar of sour cream and half a container of Best Foods Real Mayonnaise. And I decided to blend it really well to make it into a cream sauce. Now that's going to be the sauce that I'm going to layer on top of the corn just like they do at the Mexican fair. Remember that sauce I made that was with sour cream and the mayonnaise? Well, I decided to shred really super fine the cojito cheese and I put it into a glass jar real quick. Now I'm adding it to the actual sauce and I'm going to keep adding it until I get a really good consistency where it's creamy but it almost looks a little on the powdery side like they put on the actual corn itself. Okay, so now I took the corn out of the Traeger and you notice it it is very smoked and now it is roasted. Over here I have some sliced jalapenos that I'm going to lay on top of it when I'm done. Over on this side is the cochita cheese mixture. Again, just remember it's cojita cheese, sour cream, and mayonnaise. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to drill through it all over the corn here. Now before I do that, I decided that I'm going to add a little bit of Lori's garlic salt to the top of the corn. What is the finished product? Well, this is it. So I took the cream sauce and I spread it all over the dish. 
I added more of that shredded cojita sauce, or the cojita cheese, I should say, and diced jalapenos. Well, this is the finished product. Mexican street corn without the cob. Well, thanks for watching Crazy Days Kitchen, and enjoy.